from $128 down to $2. Can't resist tapping. Ah, done. By the way, didn't know whether you noticed there was only one second left for me to take this offer up. So I resisted for a few days and I just wanted to give the game a little bit of a shot to see how it plays before I actually start spending. And after the weeks of play, I'm kind of satisfied. I kind of like what I'm doing on a daily basis. This is entertaining. This is actually fun. And that's why I didn't mind spending the $2. Now, spending in this game is not mandatory, but then you do get that little bit of a boost that you kind of want. Now, seven days played and only $2 spent. And I am at castle level 15. That's pretty good right now what i'm doing at the moment is i'm checking what are the buildings the prerequisites i have to go through before i can level up to castle level 16. this is me just logging in on the eighth day for the first time by the way so i'm going to go through my morning activities on the game so if you start playing this game let's have a look at what you're going to do so the first thing that you do is you look at buildings where there's a z or z sign kind of coming out that means the building is idle right so my college is idle so i'm going to start doing some technology research now i'm going to go under military and it kind of looks like i did the maximum on drafting which was very important because that increases my training speed now i'm increasing my capacity there's all these other trees the complex city is just fascinating there's just so much into this game now whilst i'm going through my daily clicks the first thing that i'm going to do is collect all the rewards that i get when i log in and based on some of the stuff that i have done overnight now on the left hand side there's a handy tool that actually tells you what are the things that are idle and it kind of shows you the priorities as well so at the moment it's saying upgrading my castle is the priority so i'm gonna go back and start going through the clicks so see all those resources waiting for me yes i have expanded my farms and mines and all those other resource gathering re resource producing buildings so i'm going to collect them all i couldn't shake because my microphone is connected and i didn't want it to get disconnected but you can shake to collect them now i'm just tapping through all of that so is there much more to tap well there's quite a few things so i did buy this card called the supreme card no i didn't use money to buy it remember the two dollars that i spent so out of the two dollar i got some in-game currency using that in-game currency i bought the supreme card now i'm gonna keep training the side bar thing is telling me that all my buildings i mean the barracks and stuff needs more troops training and as you can see i'm going mostly for cavalry and that's because they are faster but i do need some infantry as well so i'm focusing mostly on cavalry at this stage and then i'm going to start doing some mages as well now that's not necessarily the perfect strategy i'm sure as i progress i'll learn more but you can see what i'm doing here right i'm looking at all the idle stuff so that so that i don't kind of get lost because there's so much to do this in game and i'm pretty sure i will get used to all of those stuff but one week is not probably enough for me to completely know everything so i kind of zoomed out of my city i'm looking around now when you log in for the first time your lord has quite a bit of a stamina so you should really be fighting some of those monsters but then after doing this as in after whilst i'm recording i don't think i can i have the time to go for all the monsters so i'm going to send them to collect or gather resources and then by the time i have finished editing and uploading this video and all that i'll go back again and then i'll start fighting monsters now i'm kind of showing you around all those different looking monsters that are kind of roaming around and those are the ones that we need to kill some of them are too strong for me to kill by myself and this is when i need to rally and hopefully some of my allies mates join and then we can take them down now we are again going through the side so just looking at the sidebar do you kind of see how many queues there are and how many of them are idle so you kind of have to manage all of that so this is a game where yes there's a lot of fighting but for you to be ready for the fighting you need to make sure that your city is developing and you're recruiting troops and there's some magical stuff here as well now i'm not completely 
I guess uh, what's the way to put it I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to the magical stuff and I am kind of waiting for my alliance leader to kind of take me through that stuff and he will probably do it soon and then when he does then I'm going to take you guys through it as well now speaking of my alliance and the alliance leader one of the things that I wanted to mention is I did speak with the alliance leader and we do have a few spots reserved for Ladus gaming friends so if any any of you guys start playing in 1488 which i hope you do like if you're playing why play separately come join us in 1488 and then we can play in the same alliance so as long as you're an active player we can kind of start playing in this alliance now if you do want to play with ladus gaming together in 1488 what you need to do is join our discord which is linked below in the description and then reach out to me on discord and then we can kind of talk about how actively you're playing and we can kind of play together we do have a bit of a budget set aside so that we can do some giveaways for this game as well but the first step would be join our discord let me know which server you're playing in let me know if you're willing to come to 1488 and start playing together and if you get a lot of people interested then we can definitely consider starting our own alliance even our own realm so everything is kind of possible but then if you're a largest gaming friend and if you are playing this game then i would really appreciate appreciate if you can reach reach us out on our discord so that we can kind of coordinate talk about it and things like that now in the back you can see the ranking for yesterday's some sort of quest actually not some sort of quest i know what it is there's a special type of monster that came around and we had to rally to take it down i was kind of a noob again and i tried to take it down myself and embarrassingly lost so then i rallied and alliance mates joined and we took it down and it gave some solid rewards now i didn't know it was a ranked competition now i can see it's ranked so i'm kind of going through my alliance quests as well as you can see this is more of a team game most of the things you kind of can't do on your own you can kind of upgrade your city and recruit troops but pretty much for everything else you need to play as a team now there's a lot of rewards i got out of this by the way our alliance is not the biggest it's probably sixth ranked in the realm i want to say at the moment but anyways when you guys join it'll definitely be bigger now we are hitting a monster now i'm hitting this monster because this is this is a separate kind of quest so there's a monster who you have to hit every morning and not just yourself all your alliance makes hits as well one at a time and the monster's health kind of goes down now it looks like from 16 i managed to take him down to 16 so kind of didn't do much of his damage i need to upgrade my beasts and all of that so i get two attacks so i'm doing two of them it's kind of embarrassing i want to say that that screen is glitched i'm sure i did some damage with my high level dragon i want to say my dragon is level five now but i'll show you in a little bit so anyways so we're still going through our quests and clicks and i'm collecting rewards so that gold coin that's the main currency in the game and the other one is gems so both of them you can buy with cash but then you can actually earn them in game as well by being active taking down monsters and doing other sort of things so i saw the easter bunny over there so they are celebrating easter as well obviously now we're talking about my dragon previously now let's have a look now i can't evolve yet but as you can see i unlock two skills and i'm gonna see from level six whether i can take him to level seven yes i can my dragon is level seven and i got two kind of skills one of them at level four and the other one is level five now the one at level four i probably need to upgrade that i just don't have the books and stuff required to upgrade that at the moment and my lord this is is one other important thing that you kind of need to keep upgrading that's basically me or like if you're playing then you so you do get some xp books from doing quests and things like that you do all of them i'm at level 19 which is not bad so castle level 15 and lord level 19 so i can do most of the monsters uh, when i'm rallying but then there are some really high level players here who can actually take down monsters by themselves without rallies now one day i'm gonna be one of those guys now this new star quest thing kind of opened so what happens here is it doesn't use your marches so it's like a side quest so you can send marches and they mine and then you fight monsters and you get gifts 
so rewards wise there's so many different ways that you're getting rewards that sometimes i kind of regret spending the two dollars but then again i don't because the two dollars did give me a lot of speed ups and a lot of gems now the gems in question i'm actually not using them as you can see up top i do have twenty-five thousand gems saved up and i i like it that way you know why because there are some really cool city skins that you need to buy using gems that's how i read it but it kind of looked like rainbow gems so i don't know how to convert my gems into rainbow gems but then i know that i'm gonna need that gold currency and the gems so i'm not kind of trying to use them unless i really have to to be honest i haven't used much anyways i just bought that supreme card because the other youtube videos that i saw of this game kind of said that i had to now i'm looking at this thing it's called infinity war or in yeah i think infinity wars so this is where i i heard about this so this is like a mega side quest thing but it's ranked and okay well there's monsters gonna come out of that so i kind of wasted my defense on the right so monsters come out of that hell gate obviously so as you can see i'm just placing my defenses now i'm placed playing at 1x speed but then i'm going to see if i can up it once i have placed sufficient buildings now i got no plans this is the first time i'm doing infinity this is like a practice mode but the infinity wars thing i'm doing it for the first time now it kind of looks like there i should i should have known more hey look this is my first day i can be a noob so i will start oh there's one more hellgate there's many hellgates all right all right so let's upgrade something and see how it goes so that looks like a good idea and i'm going to place some more defenses i kind of know which which turrets does what type of damage in a way um oh shit there's something came out of the other gate on the uh, there's a gate on the left as well and i got nothing there oh my god and they some of them went and hit my city so that doesn't look good oh my god i'm not so on the top you can kind of see your score and this is ranked so if i do bad this is going to be embarrassing i don't know how many times i can do it in a day so on the top left hand side it has a skull and has a number three i don't know what that means either i think i should have played it in the slow mode not 4x because this is kind of getting scary this can i like on the top gate i kind of oh no they went in and they did something bad and i think it's game over okay so i did earn some coins though so it was kind of fun so i'm ranked 308 that's very bad oh so it's 600 gems and i can do it tomorrow okay so this is embarrassing after the video i'm probably gonna go back and do it again and as you can see i did get some good rewards so but then it's ranked so if something ranked then i want to be competitive and be a little bit better uh, my alliance is gonna give me some shits for that later on um, they are quite active so they do there's a beautiful in-game chat system where you interact with everyone there's some nice cool emojis as well so i'm gonna show that to you in the next video but then there's one other cool thing that i thought i show you which is the temple now from this temple it looks like i get an archangel and then i don't have him i don't have the currency to recruit him yet but then this is the bit that kind of confuses me so when i start looking at the altar there's all sorts of magical stuff kind of taking place with artifacts and all sorts of other things and i kind of lost track of it now you know what i'm gonna do about it there's only one solution when you can't find a solution you search it in youtube and then i'm sure there's someone who made a video and i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna learn it and i'm going to help you guys out with it with more details if that's what you kind of want so again join our discord let us know if you are playing this game let us know which server you are playing so i kind of get a feel of who are our viewers that are playing so that we can communicate better play together and talk about the game in general in chat i guess now i'm gonna do some crafting as well as you can see so i got a white kind of dagger and i'm gonna change it to a green kind of dagger and the green one is level 10 so definitely that's an upgrade so again not that i necessarily know which one is better but then 
if your stats are going up then that's better right now for us to know if i had friends who is playing and we could talk together then obviously that'll be nicer so unlike the other kind of games that i play whether it be rise of kingdoms or age of empires or even diablo to some extent i have been playing those games for a very long time so i kind of do have an in-depth idea but then when it comes to I think wow and order it, it is a bit more complicated and that's a uh, quite a lot to say as in diablo has this kind of talent trees and complexities in it and crafting and all that as well rise of kingdoms now has quite a bit as well and age of empires has like what 40 civilizations or something now and it, yeah, all of them are different but then this game wow war and order kind of feels like they kind of got the good bits out of everything and put it in one game which can feel like a little overwhelming at the beginning but then i feel like i'm slowly getting a hang of it the only thing that i'm kind of not clear about is the magical stuff still so if you're a player who has been playing this for a while or even if you start new you kind of figured out how that magical stuff works reach out to me on discord and the link is in the description and i'll see you in the next video